get quick scoped, son. What's going on, guys? Suburban Legend here, bringing you guys a World at War gameplay commentary. This is something you just don't see a lot of anymore. But uh, I always like to mix up the gameplay and the, the variety on my channel, so here we go. Every now and then, you also just have to run back and play some, some Call of Duty 4 or some World at War back in the, the good old days of Call of Duty before uh, you know they started introducing the customizable kill streaks and all that stuff. This is just. 357, that's the way it is, and yeah. <laughs> I'm running around with a bolt action rifle, and then I pick up this Thompson and do some work with this gun here, too. But bolt action rifle in this game, it's almost a precursor to the whole quick scoping phenomenon of today, of this day and age. Um, but the thing is, is there was not really much aim assist in World at War. There was a little bit when you're sniping, but with bolt action rifle, no scope. Just you and the iron sights at long range trying to shoot at somebody. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and it was pretty difficult. So, I'd li actually like to see someone make a bolt action rifle montage of them just going to work. Then I'd be impressed. <laughs> um, but anyways, those things were kind of tough to use, and uh, yeah, so that's why I'm using them in this game. And I also pick up this Thompson, like I said, and do a little bit of work. Um, this was when I one of the first times I played World at War in a long time, and trying to get familiar with the maps again so you see I run around in this building for like a minute just trying to find my way out <laughs> trying to interpret the radar at the same time as I'm running around the map um, the game like Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops you know you play it so much it just becomes second nature but then you go back a couple years later and try and play the game again and the maps become totally unfamiliar again um, all the little nooks and crannies and hallways and stairs and stuff got to relearn where everything is Anyways, I was on kind of a tear uh, during this gaming session. I think probably because a lot of the better players are on to Black Ops Modern Warfare 3 at this point in time. But what uh, I tried to do here was get stabbed. <laughs> Panic knife. But uh, I'm trying to go flawless, actually. So you see me playing it a little little slower, a little bit close to the chest. Uh, I'm trying to get my dogs out there, and I actually do go flawless. But a little bit before the game ended, I was going on a tear, and the host actually rage quit so that ended the game uh, this was the last Call of Duty game before they implemented host migration which still doesn't even work all the time but it's better than nothing you know at least now when the host leaves the game doesn't automatically end you have a at least a chance of host migration working out for you <laughs> um, so I kind of run around switching back and forth between the Thompson at close quarters and if I get into a long-range fight or uh, if my clip runs out I'll bust out the the bolt action rifle secondary, which is not a bad thing to have. Finally pick up my puppies, and a lot of you guys are probably unfamiliar with World at War. This was the first Call of Duty game to actually feature the attack dogs. And they are beastly as hell in this game, just like they were in Black Ops. Um, they are actually two bites to kill in this game, in case, in case you're unfamiliar with this game. Uh, that's the, the big difference from Black Ops, but they are also only a seven kill streak, so. Pretty balanced, uh, definitely balances that out. I'm on my 10 kill streak here. There's people up on the roof, so I'm trying to shoot this guy down. Uh, didn't quite get him, but my dogs are going to work right now. I'm on a kill streak, running around in this building again, finding a lot of people. Oh, get quick scoped again. That's a nice secondary to have. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted to post this game because it's it's a good variety. Uh, shoot this guy, waiting for him to come back around the corner so I can shoot him again. And I see one of his friends coming around the corner, and the host ends the game. But uh, anyways, I was 13-0, about to pull a flawless gameplay. Trying to, anyways. Had a lot of enemies around me. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this World at War gameplay. And I will be bringing a good dose of variety of gameplays in my channel in the near future. So be sure and check back, and uh, we'll get some Battlefield 3 up for you guys, and maybe even another Celebrity Duel Comp pretty soon. Peace out.